Good morning, children. I brought some special things in with me to our sanctuary at Holy Cross Lutheran Church. As um, we talk today specifically about God the Holy Spirit and prayer. Now, I have three balloons. And why three? Well, why don't you say it with me? God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. That's how God has revealed himself to us, and that's how we begin our worship. It's also the name in which we are baptized. And so say it again with me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, I wanted to make it colorful, so we have a red, a yellow, and a blue balloon. I also have some tissue paper with me, and a scissor, and a marker, because what we're going to do with this, and you could do this at home, is to make some prayer requests. Things that you're thinking about, things that are on your mind. And so I cut up some uh, tissue paper squares, and I wrote down some of the prayer requests that we might have, especially at this time. It's in our Bible reading for today that St. Paul gives us great encouragement about our prayer. In the same way, the Holy Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Holy Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for God's people in accordance with the will of God. Well, I find that's true for me, that there's times when I just don't know quite the right words to say in my prayers. Maybe because I'm extra worried or I'm afraid of something. Maybe because something just seems to have been going on so long or I just don't know what to do with it. Well, having the right words is not the most important thing in prayer. It's having the Holy Spirit and it's having faith that the Holy Spirit gives. That's what empowers our prayer life. Paul uses the word groans, and I'm not talking about complaining that might be going on in in your household, but no, it's a groaning of something that you really feel strongly about, something you really care about, something you're really concerned about. And in these days when things just are all different than they have been, there's lots to pray for, and we probably are feeling a lot of that groaning inside of us, just not sure what is happening or where it will all go. So what I'd like to do then is, as I've written out these prayer requests, maybe one of the things we're concerned about is health. People that aren't well, maybe they're in their family, maybe you just know about them, or even those that take care of people in the hospitals and the doctors. So we're going to put that prayer request on our balloon. And then certainly there's our family. Maybe uh, for your mom or your dad or your brothers or sisters, uh, Grandmas and grandpas, maybe you can't see everybody. Uh, there might be uh, concerns about, you know, about work and about schedules. So we bring our prayers before God. And he's the one, the Holy Spirit's the one that brings them. And even as we don't maybe have the right words, they come clear to God according to his will. And then there's school. Uh, we want to... Um, uh, keep that in mind. We know school's going to be starting somehow in August, but we're not sure exactly why, and certainly to pray for our teachers uh, as well, and all of those that make school happen, and our Children's Center here at Holy Cross, all those things that are so important and are a gift of God. And then we also um, uh, might be just um, uh, afraid of something, uh, so um, if we're afraid, uh, then we could bring that before God. We don't have to even know exactly how it, uh, how it all fits. Or there's our church. Things are different even at church. So we're going to put that in our prayer before God. And then uh, any other worries that we might have. So if you've written down some yourself, uh, then um, uh, you can put those on here. And what then it says in the Bible is that Uh, We do not know what we pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us. And he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit because he carries our prayers before God. And so um, we trust that God the Holy Spirit is going to take all these prayers right up to God and that God is going to answer them. His will is going to be done. 
And what a great gift that is, uh, that we know that our prayers, even if we don't have the right words, are carried by faith through the Holy Spirit to Jesus and then to God the Father, who always promises to answer. Please pray with me now. O Holy Spirit, thank you for bringing me to faith in Jesus. Thank you for your presence in my baptism. Thank you for being in my heart. For all the things that are on my heart and my mind, I give to you in prayer to take to our Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus. Amen. May God bless you as our faith grows and as we rely on the presence and power of the Holy Spirit to take our prayers to God.